then you have common needs. Those which I have mentioned, actually, they are the common things that I want you to understand. So today we are talking of discussion with the fund. Fund. So this is our topic of discussion today, and actually at the end of this talk, I'm aiming for you to understand how to define fund. Then you have to list the characteristics of it. You have to describe the the, 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 the fund itself. Then you have to classify them. But we'll go beyond this one because we are going also to explain about the the, the fungus of very importance. Okay. So generally, when you're speaking of fungus. Fungi are the eukaryotic organisms that exist in two forms. They can exist either in yeast form, of which yeast we use always in our life, even in making chapati, nazi, we're using it. But we're having also moons, which they exist like filaments. Filaments like they are, they are rod-like, they, they come together like in rod shaped like. Yeast, they look like cells together. So example of fungi that include, uh, they include Candida, candida can which affect mostly uh, most of the people in the world, immunocompromised people, and those those things that puts all, every one of us in risk. Mostly this again happens in ladies. We have cryptococcus, we have neophonies, and we have dermatophytes. As, as, as it is said, dermatophytes means that these are fungus which affect mostly what is skin. Together. So when you're studying or when you're speaking of uh, 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 Fungus together, the study of fungus is called what? Mycology. It's called what? Mycology. So, why fungus to you, doctors? Why fungus to you, doctors? The first thing is almost every clinic, clinically active doctor is going to be confronted with a fungal infection during their waking life. You will always, and most of us also have fungus here. Yes. So you are going to be you are going to see the cases. Most of you are going to be confronted with these cases. Therefore, that, that's why it is very important for you to understand this topic. Again, it can be food or laid fungal. If they are familiar, if you are family doctor, means that you are going to see them. Fungal pneumonia, if they are hematologist oncologist doctor. Irritant diapers, dermatitis, if they are the pediatricians, because most of these are happening young people, maybe they are under five years, they can happen with the use of diamonds. What matters is knowing the mycosis, the study of fungus in general, typically manifestation, how you're going to see them, how you're going to tell this is fungal infection. Again, you have to know diagnostic method. Why? Because at the end, when you suspect about a fungal disease, you have to ask for the test, is it? You have to ask people that are test whereby you're going to confirm the clinical diagnosis that you have made. So it is very important for you to understand what are the uh, options which are available in case of a diagnosis which may be used in case of diagnosing the fungal infection. And again, you have to understand what are the drugs or therapy therapies which can be used for treating of what fungal infection in order to treat the patient in the best way possible. So the intention of this very topic mostly is for you at least to have to have an idea of what are the fungal infections, how they happen, how they present. When a patient is trying to explain to you, then you get the big picture so that you can treat that particular patient. As I said, there are about more than uh, one million fungal species, but only one eighth of which they can be linked to the infection in human and animals. One eighth. So all others are just there. They can be used for other purposes that they say to you that you have to mention other function of the fungus. Is it? What is the number one function? They can be used for what? As what? As food. Is it? Mushroom can be used as food. Another thing? They can be used in bread making, mostly in the industry. Is it? Okay. Another thing? Together? In fermentation. Is it? Yes. In the brewery industries, they can be used for the fermentation. But again, they can be used as medicine, antibiotics, is it? So there are a lot of functions because if there are about one million and only one eight causes disease, means that all other remains have, can be have, can have useful, uh, useful function to the human being. So besides that, fungus are used in medicine as antibiotic producer or vaccine, like hepatitis B surface antigen. When you see the content of hepatitis B uh, vaccine, within hepatitis B vaccine, there is what? There is this fungal. 
this component of fungus to make that vaccine. So without fungus, maybe we would have uh, something that's called the new vaccine. The structure and characteristics of fungo, when you start with morphological characteristics, they you see that it, they are at least one nucleus or nucleus or a nuclear membrane. Therefore, they have nuclear membrane. It's quite different from the from the normal normal cells that we used to say maybe those bacterial cells, where we saw there is nothing like the nuclear membrane with it. But the fungus have what? Nuclear membrane. And they have what? Nuclear, not just nuclear material. So in classification, we see that if fungi are nearby any, is it? In the classification, you can see that fungus are nearby any because they have almost similar characteristics with one that we are having. So again, they are endoplasmic. They have endoplasmic reticulum and the mitochondria. You know the function of endoplasmic reticulum? And for mitochondria, you know this is powerhouse of the cell for the production of energy. Therefore, they are there also to help fungal to have enough energy, enough supply of energy for them to work function. Again, they do not have chlorophyll. You know the function of chlorophyll is for what? Photosynthesis is it, of which most of this is used by what? Plants. So, uh, similar to animal, mostly, fungi also don't have what? Chlorophyll. And therefore, we depend, mostly depend on other sources of food. The soil is made of churches by forming what? Spores. This is the cell wall, which is, uh, when you say cell wall, means that animal don't have cell wall. But plants have cell wall, and fungi have what? Cell wall. I, other general characteristics, most of fungi are obligate or facultative what? Irons. They need what? They need oxygen. And they are also chemotrophic. If they are chemotrophic, means that they release chemical or they are attracted with a certain chemical for them to exist. They secrete enzymes that they regulate a wide variety of organic substances into soluble nutrients. You know, Fungo, if they can go in a certain organic matter, means that they have nutrients, they have enzymes to digest that organic matter for them to get what? Nutrients to grow. Are we together? They have, they have soluble enzymes that they secrete together for them to get nutrients. Again, there are three types of basic form of fungus, of which we have the yeast form, for example, the Graptococcus neoformis. We have the moons, which I said they, they rise like filamentous. And we are having dimorphic. Dimorphic means they can exist in, in both form. They can exist either in yeast form, they can exist in what? Filamentous form. Of which, this depends mostly to the environmental condition. If it is too hot, they can exist in this form. If it is too cold, they can exist in another form. Are we together? Yes. yes. Therefore, we are having three basic form. Yeast are single fungal cells. They are single fungal cell, and they always reproduce asexually by process called duality, body. Body means that one single cell grow, increases in, in genetic material, they divide. Are we together? That is called body. Example of why yeast cell include the Crepococcus neoformis, Candida abdicans also they are what? They are yeast. Moldy, these are fungus which grow in multinuclear filamentous forms. They grow like a simple uh, filamentous. And they are composed of branching cylindrical filament called what? Hyphae. They are called what? Hyphae. The mass of inter interweaving hyphae that accumulate during active growth is uh, mycelium. Actually, we are having two types of uh, hyphae. We have septic, which have a division, clear division, in among two. And we have what? A septic. A means no what? Septic. Are we together? So, septic, they are hyphae which are separated by cross wall or septa. Septa means something that can separate into two forms. Typically forming a regular interval during what is high of both. But a septa, they are high by and not what is separated by cross wall or septa. Therefore, they grow in a mixed form. High by that penetrate the supporting medium. Supporting medium can be organic material, can be soil, it can be anything, it can be what is, maybe a wood, that is supporting material. Therefore, those high by which can support which can penetrate the supporting media and absorb nutrients, they are vegetative or substrate hyphae. They are called that name. They are called what? Vegetative or what? Substrate hyphae. Because they can go and have nutrients for the growth of that particular type of fungus. <coughs> together. We are having other type of hyphae which is called aerial of hyphae, meaning that they exist in what? In air. The aerial of hyphae project above the surface of Mycelium and usually via the reproductive structure of the mold. These are called what? Spongio. Spongio means what? 
Conjo means what? Hmm? They are kind of forming what is? They are spawns like strata and again they release seed kind of or spores which you can again replicate for another generation. Are we together? These are reproductive part of what is? Farm. Then we are, when you are speaking of hyper that you penetrate, those are supporting for the fungus to grow. And these are aerial hyper, the major function is for them to grow and release what is? Spores which can be what is? Replicate for other generations. Are we together? So this is the structure that we see. Spongium, you see them, they are spores. And what you see down here, which they penetrate to the maybe to the uh, certain substance for them to grow, you see the basils, stolons, all of them together. We have the dimorphic fang, as I said, these are fungi that, that, that can grow both as yeast and as mold, depending on temperature and other environmental conditions. Therefore, they can grow in anyhow depending on the situation where they are. If it is very cold, maybe they can grow in this form. If it is very hot, they can grow in another form. Example of these one are the histoplasma capsular. What's the name that you have to understand? I think from your form two, you studied about kingdom part, is it? And you had classification, classification of those fungus. And fungal species are assigned to pillar, as well as appropriate class, order, and family, based on its mode of body, sexual reproduction. Therefore, the classification of fungus also depends mostly in what in terms of what sexual production, also phenotypical properties. When it says phenotypical properties means those are properties which are seen. Eh? You can see them, is it? Phenotypical properties, those are the ones that you cannot see them. So morphologically, physiological, and phylogenic relationship, fungus are classified into four phyla. The phyla number one is ascoati. The second one is what? The third one is what? Basidio mycota. The, 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 the fourth one is what? What? <laughs> so those are the pile of what? Classification of pile of what? Fungal species. Those are the major four. But in this ascomycota carries a lot of uh, a lot of significant. Uh, things in terms of health. Because Ascomycota is the largest group which includes more than 60% of what, what is known to be found. And about 85 of the human pathogens are coming from this very, very group. Are we together? Sexual reproduction involves the sac and asacus in which carogams, nuclear division and meiosis occur, producing what is Ascospores. A sexual reproduction is Biawati. Biawati. Corinia. And mold have separated hyphae, example the blastomyosis, histoplasma, and others. What is Corinia? Hmm? What is Corinia? We'll have discussion later. Okay. So, uh, we have another file which is called the Phylum which is called the zygomycota. This is the always reproduced by sexual reproduction without your know, zygopore, zygospore. The sexual reproduction is occurring via what? Sporangia. So you have to remember those things, they are very important. And by detecting group, hyphae are scarcely accepted. An example of them, they are rhizopus, aspidia, the mucor, and these are names which are sometimes very difficult, but what I want you to concentrate mostly is the clinical things that will happen, and the, the, we are going to discuss mostly on a candidate. We have the basidiomycota, also the sexual production results in four progenies, basidiomycota, supported by club, shepi, basidia. High fi have complex sector example, the mushrooms, is based on this form, is it? This one have they are none of medical significance. They're just there. Therefore, even if you don't want to remember, it's okay. They are none of medical importance. The very important phylum here is what is as for my what is my quarter because it causes almost 80% of what 85% of what all diseases that happen to human beings. We get. So, what are the key take home points here? Fungus are eukaryotic organisms. So if they are eukaryotic organism, we have the challenge again. Because if they are eukaryotic <coughs> organism, now the target for treating these fungus is quite difficult compared to bacteria. Because 
Our drugs, the way drugs are made, they are made so that they cannot cause toxic impact in what in your body. And for them to, to prevent, be pre prevented to cause toxic impact in your body, it is very important for you to be quite different from the organism which is causing that particular disease. If you are eukaryotic, and the organism which is causing disease to you is eukaryotic, it means that more cell will be distracted with the same drug which is distracting the body, which is killing the body, that particular organism. Do you understand the concept? Yes. So, the more organism is eukaryotic, the more organism is becoming similar to you, the more difficult it is to treat that particular organism. The reason is, it is very hard to target that particular organism because it is having similar characteristics like yours. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. So you have to get that concept. Right. Another key com com component here is the cell wall fungus made of what? So this is very important for us in case of targeting treatment because we don't have treatment, is We don't have them, is it? Do we have them? No. So if we don't have them, it means that even our drug, most of our drug has to target in this place. Are you together? Fungus are classified in four files that we have named them and we understand them. So that is part number one. We are going for next topic, which is um, fungal of medical importance. That was just a brief picture of what is happening. A reminder of what you did in Martin in your work. Form one, form two, and form six. Fungal of medical importance. Fungal of medical importance comes from different fibre and genera. Example of genera that lead to the fungal infection include the trick of phytons, the microspora, the epidemophytons, making the group of body, tinea and skin wati, mycosis. When I say tinea and skin mycosis, these are these are fungal mostly causes what infection in skin, in head, in uh, feet, they cause infection in those areas. But we have another type of uh, uh, medical importance fungal, which is Candida albicans, the Cryptococcus neophagus, and Histoplasma capsulatum, making the group of body opportunistic heat infection. When I say opportunistic infection, I mean that these fungus, they can be, they can stay with you without causing any harm if your immunity is quite good. But if you have become compromised, your immunity become very compromised, maybe you are having very chronic disease for quite some time. Maybe you are taking um, uh, drugs which are very heavy, uh, compromising your immunity. Maybe drugs like chemotherapy for treating cancers, is it? Maybe you are, you are, you are, you are undergoing uh, things like dialysis, uh, kidney dialysis. Or you are doing something like maybe you are having HIV. These organisms can affect you as well because they are opportunistic to infection. They can stay with us without harming us, but whenever our immunity is quite low compared to the normal state, they can change into what infection of pathogen. You get the concept? Mm -hmm. So that's very important. And this organism again can affect you mostly when you are have you are taking very strong antibiotics. Because when you are taking very strong antibiotics, as we say earlier, when we are doing the microbiology part of bacteriology, say it, when you are taking very strong uh, antibiotic, automatically you are compromising your immunity. And most of those normal flora, they are taken away. Is it? If they are taken away, it means that your body becomes without what? Normal flora. And we say the major function for the normal flora is what? The major function for normal flora is what? To fight, make sure that it, it occupies all those areas without allowing other opportunistic infection to take place. And again, they even fight for the nutrition with other foreign what? organisms in such a way that it, they make that area maintain it in a good state. So whenever you are having very strong antibiotic for Sometimes you may affect the immunity of the body. Mostly those what? Mostly those what? Hmm? Normal products. So we are having another type here with which is called the cochlear dominus imitis, leading to systemic mycosis. When I say systemic mycosis, means that this goes even in your bloodstream, where it can affect various organs, the heart, the kidney, every area in your body. So that is called the systemic infection. I was asking you about most areas are the areas which are most affected by the fungal infection. And this is the just the pictures here. We can see the legs, the hands. But in the hands and legs we are having skin, is it? Those are most affected areas again. The vagina uh, is most affected. Even different part of uh, uh, reproductive system, mostly in ladies, it can get affected. The mouth is, can get affected. The ears, the heart, 
because if you're having systemic fungal infection means that automatically it can go anywhere. It can go even to back to bone marrow. It can go to the lung. It can go to the brain. Are we together? So all those areas can get affected by what? Fungus. And mostly this happens when you are immunocompromised. That's why you see Cryptococcus meningitis, mostly to people who are having what? HIV. It goes even to brain. Why? Because the immune has been what? Compromised. Therefore, one of the things which is very important for you to protect yourself from the from fungal infection is make sure that you are immune competent. And being immune competent involves a lot of things. Nutrition, taking care of yourself, not to get infected with diseases like HIV that was speaking. Again, taking care in the use of what? Medication. And for ladies, to the area like vagina, you have to make sure that you're not using a lot of antibiotics. You're not using antibiotics at all because this area is just safe itself, is it? So whenever you compromise those normal flora, you will automatically get fungal infection. So what is that? What fungal that can cause tinea mycosis? You say general characteristics of fungal that causes tinea mycosis. We call it cutaneous. Cutaneous because it's part of what? Skin. In fact, only the superficial keratinized tissue. Keratinized tissue. These are tissues mostly which are we say they are they are they are they are most of them they are they are covering tissue. Uh, the skin, the hair, mm, the nails, these are keratinized what? tissue. So most of these tissue are affected by tinea. Are we together? So we can find tinea pedis, which affect mostly the legs. Are we together? Tinea capitis, capitis means head, which affect mostly the head. Are we together? Those are tinea which can affect. They are restricted, they are restricted to the non viable skin. Most of them they grow in non viable what? skin. In those areas where by skin, growth is very high, they cannot stay there because they need something for them to grow, right together. And as you know, together they are saprophytic, is it? Pango are saprophytic, is it? They like dead water, dead organic matter. Therefore, even your skin, if it is good, there is nothing like dead matter, automatically pango cannot stay there, right together. So again, most are unable to grow at water, that's seven solutions. Therefore, they cannot grow that much in a whole temperature, unless there are things that they can compromise that state. They are identified by the presence of highly septide, branching hyphae, chains. This can be identified mostly when you take the scrap of your skin. Maybe I take the scrap of your skin, I go and look into my microscope, I can identify them. Are we together? So, tinea are the cutaneous mycosis which are caused by fungal that infect only the superficial keratinized tissue. The most important of these, I say, they are demonophytes, meaning that they affect what? Skin. And they include epi epidemic phantom, fluncosums, the, 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 the trichophantom, and others, which they mostly affect the skin. You see, this is one of uh, uh, skin, skin infection by the fungus. See what you see there. So, what do we do in lab? The battery diagnosis. You have to understand that if you find a skin, skin affected by fungal, what you're going to take is called the skin what is scraping. Whereby you're going to touch us some part of skin, that skin, then you bring it to lab. Then you do something so that they can tell if it is fungal infection. In the nail bed, again you can find them. Most of people who are affected, they can find them. In hairs, mostly for the for the tinea capitis, you have to take hairs. The swabs from the lesions, also they can tell because the swab, the swab from the lesion means that you can take that swab and bring for culture in the bottle, whereby we use SDA. SDA, the media which is used for the growth of fungus in the bottle. Are we together? So, uh, Rabato technique which can be used in cutters number one. Most of the is, is used. Again, there is fluorescence direct microscope, whereby you use a fluorescence microscope to observe if there is fungus. You see those high fives yeast cells, and whatever. Again, there is uh, the use of wet preparation using 10% of potassium hydroxide. The main function of potassium hydroxide is to kill all those normal cells and remain only with fungal cells, where you can observe them with the use of microscope. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So, drug of choice for this. Uh, topical anti antifungal agents like the protomotazoles, the ketaconazole cream, the benzoic acid containing ornaments, the oral resulfuric, they can be used, but I suggest and advise you to ask for the culture and sensitivity so that you can get a very good drug to treat your patient. Are you together? Yes. Fungal that causes opportunistic infection. There are a number of fungals which causes opportunistic infection. As I said earlier, 
these are fungal which affect you when your immune is watching, compromise. Therefore, the opportunistic fungal is an organism which induce disease. When the immunity of individuals is what? Compromise. When the immunity is what? Yes, when the immunity is what? Compromise. When the immunity is what? Compromise. That's what you must remember. Therefore, whenever you find someone with a disease which can compromise the immune, you have to think of fungal infection. Right again. Whenever you find someone who is having an uh, immunocompromised disease like HIV, and you find maybe he's having severe headache, he's having like a very severe headache and you think of meningitis. Those meningitis can be caused by bacteria, can be caused by viral, but most important is what? Fungal, because that particular person is what? Immunocompromised. Are we together? Again, usually they are non-pathogenic when they are normal. Non-pathogenic and are part of microbial normality, flora. Example include the Candida alpican, the Cryptococcus neophomis, but when the immunity is compromised, they change it to what? Pathogen. So Candida, these are special of Candida include the Candida albicans, the Tropicalis, and the Glabrata. These are the Candida which are viral. General, general characteristics of Candida, they are all providing yeast cell. They are yeast cell. And they can produce pseudo hyphae. Pseudo means they are not, not true what? Not true hyphae. When in the what? In the host. When you look in the microscope, you are going to see gram-positive light. They are gram-positive in looking. But what is differentiating them from the normal bacteria? Number one is what? After gram stain, you go for other chemical tests, is it? What do we do? What do we do? For staphylococcus, to differentiate from staphylococcus with the other organisms, what do we do? Coagulase or catalase? Coagulase test, is it? Again, catalyst testing. Then when you are testing for catalyst and coagulase testing, they won't change anything because these are fungal diseases. But when you're seeing them in microscope, they can confuse you to what? To what? To gram positive. Again, they germinate to form in a, to form tube tube like this structure, the gem tube while in the cell. This is the candida in the mouth. It can happen mostly to HIV patients. This is very common. This is candida in vagina, vulva vagina or candidiasis. Mostly happen for the ladies who are using, who they bleach themselves. They use a lot of toxin things like soap and what, what, what there. It can cause very dangerous situation. But again, even for the ladies who are using what, very strong medication. Because a lot of medication are treated with the use of what, kidney, where they pass through what, vagina, is it? And again, if they are passing through vagina automatically, those, those very, those are, uh, Chemicals from the drugs again they can affect your normal flora and again you can get large candida. So disease caused by candida they are trash. This is number one. For example, white patches occurring like pseudo membrane on the mouth of vagina. You have seen them. The vaginitis, this inflammation, vagina itching and blistered flavored by high pH. High pH means that it is more what? More basic, is it? Actually, the vagina has to be what? More acidic. But if it is more basic, it means that it is favoring those organisms, mostly the fungal to grow. Also, say, for the people who are having diabetes, diabetes again is involved in what? Immunocompromisation. Is it? Diabetes can cause immunocompromisation. And for that reason, a lot of things that can happen. Again, diabetes brings a lot of food for organisms to grow because there is excess sugar which can be utilized. Are we, are we together? So there are, there are lots of those things. Long-term use of broad spectrum antibiotics, as I said earlier, we have chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis following the immunosuppressions. The candida may affect the mucous membranes. The mucous membranes that you're speaking can be the, the, from the tongue, all those mucous membranes, cutaneous tissues. The appearance of uh, candida in microscope, you can see the structure. They are similar like bacteria, the gram positive, is it? But I say the way to differentiate them. So, about the diagnosis of candida, we can use the specimen which can be taken. We can take high vaginal swab. High vaginal swab, which can be taken. Uh, this is how high vaginal swab is taken. You see, this is the strip which can be used to take high vaginal swab. So, the sample can be taken in high vaginal swab, mostly for what? Vaginal candidiasis, is it? You can take what? Skin strapping. If you are having what? You have cutaneous what? Fungus, is it? You can take next to no tissue. Maybe you are having fungal in a certain body. Uh, maybe you are having a wound with a fungal infection. Is it? You can take the next to no tissue. But again, you can take tissue. The technique which I use, the gram stain can be used. Again, culture can be used. 
and gem what? Tube. So when they grow together, they form gem like tube in structure. The drug of choice for the candidiasis can be fluconazole. These are anti what? And farm. Fluconazole, cotromocazole, we have the statin and cataconazole. We are not going to explain in detail on the mechanism of action of these drugs. But most of them, they act in the membrane, the fungal, or they act in the nuclear of the fungus. Anyhow, but they act in those areas. So we are having cryptococcus neophamis. These are all body yeast cells surrounding the widely polysaccharide capsules. Species of medical importance under the genus cryptococcus is cryptococcus neophamis. There are two variants of this cryptococcus neophamis. There are cryptococcus neophamis van neophamis, which causes cryptococcal disease in immunocompromised individuals. As I said, for the people who are having HIV, they are at risk of having the meningitis because the are the cryptococcal. Are we together? Again, cryptococcal neophamis van the gut causes a cryptococcal disease in immunocompromised individuals. So, characteristics of cryptococcal neophamis, most of them they are encapsulated, have a large, have large round capsule which protect them. And they occur in form of body yeast cells. They have even their gross kind of body. They are gram positive, but they say in genes of stain, this is another fine form, form of stain. Apart from the gram stain, you can have other stain like the genes of stain. The capsule can be seen as clear and stained area. Clear and stained what is area. So in India ink, the cryptocon neophamis show a clear large round capsule surrounded by cell. So I will say this is caused by cryptococcus, cryptococcus especially cryptococcus meningitis can be one of the cause, can be one of the diseases caused by this one. So therefore, cryptococcus is the most common life threatening fungal disease in immunocompromised people. Most of people who are diagnosed with this disease, they end up dying. They end up what? It's hard to treat what is fungal. I have to know even the treatment of fungal is not one of the things. It is mountains. Are we together? Even when you are prescribing a drug to your patient, make sure that you give enough dose. Because most of the patients will come back because when they use drug, their situation will come very well, maybe for sometimes, and it comes again. Are we together? Fungal are very notorious type of organisms. And when you are treating them, be careful, you treat them for long enough so that they get, get in a, a good effect. Then for example, for organisms like Cryptococcus meningitis, what you are going to use is cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. Are we together? Yeah. So that's the sample that you are going to take to the barrel. And the technique which I'm going to be used here, we have the Indian ink. This is the stain, which is called the Indian ink. You can use a gram stain and catch it. All these can be used for the diagnosis of this particular organism. Drug of choice is mostly fluconazole. This is how we catch her. This is the plate. It's called the SDA plate, whereby we catch them for the fungal. When you catch them, you don't see this one. But tomorrow morning, within 24 hours, you can see them. Are you together? Yeah. Key point. Fungal medical importance include dermatophytes, the tinea, which I said they are fatuati. Skin. They affect what? Skin. They affect what? Skin. They affect the skin. And opportunistic fungus like Canada African and Cryptococcus in your is, they are very important for you to know. Therefore, when you are moving from here, from this class, make sure that you go and repeat. Read more history in what? Cryptococcus in your and also the Medicides and Gematophytes. Because those are the most cases that are going to be there while you practice. About the diagnosis for the fungal is based on collection of skin strapi. You can have fluid, you can have nail cut, nail cuts, or you can have hair, you can have cerebrospinal fluid, or uh, cerebrospinal oral or cervical swabs for microscopic and culture. And the treatment based on water administration of topical oral or parenteral water and the fungal drugs, meaning that you are going to use either topical. Topical means that you apply in the area which is infected, is it? Widely for the parental and the other medication like the systemic means that you give someone to drink the, the drug or you, you give us a syringe, you do anything maybe, but you can make it a systemic way. So, for ladies, this is very important to consider. It has been said that the uh, contraception has been linked with what? With a fungal infection. Therefore, 
there's no need for you to use a, a, a contraception while you are not married. What for? Yes, you are not married, and it means that you are not expecting you to have sex, is it? Therefore, why is contraception? Because at the end, they can call this severe symptoms. Another thing is, avoid taking what antibiotic is unnecessary. And this is why you are sick. This is for even men. Again, sleep. Make sure that you get enough sleep. Someone may ask me, when you have enough sleep, most of us immune to become very strong. When you don't have enough sleep, you are immune to get compromised. Even your mind is not making well. Fit. Get enough sleep. Very important. Again, to me, I say not to reduce your alcohol. Don't take what? Alcohol. Don't take what? Alcohol. Don't take alcohol. And if you are taking caffeine like in a coffee and what, take care of it. So again, don't wear the tight synthetic underwears because they generate a very strong heat. Eat together. So which they can cause a fungal infection. Again, avoid swimming in pools that they are used, use harsh what? Chemicals because there are some pools which they use a lot of chemicals so that they can teach for people to be safe. Is it? No need. Just see, wash your body in your room. Right together. Yes. Again, this is very important. And I think even a half of you have used this. Never use vaginal notches. Do you understand the vaginal notches? There are chemicals like if you use metal, you use uh, soap, you use what to wash there. It is wrong. That place has been prepared, it's been washed itself very clearly. Right together. Yes. Yeah, so I'm sure that you can end there and then we can have